not being videoed. No, not, Get used to being videoed while you work. Yeah, you need to get used uh, to being videoed, obviously. Like, conscious. Good morning, everybody. There's there's Mike Newman. <laughs> Mike Newman is the uh, the other partner that runs Golden Painting Studios with me. Um, and I figured this morning, against Mike's will, we'd uh, introduce ourselves. Say hi, Mike Newman. Hi. He's the man generally who does all the all the quotes, all the posting, all uh, all the business side of things. Whereas what I do is generally do all the painting side of things and promotion side of things. Um, so hi, we're the faces of Golem. Uh, how are you feeling today? Tired. Tired. I'm tired as well. I actually was up late last night and I watched, and I don't recommend watching it, I watched uh, Human Centipede 2. It's just crap. Simple as that. that. It's just, I haven't seen the first one. I'm not going to watch it. I don't really care. Not because it's disgusting or anything like that. I'm not bothered by things like that. It's just crap. It's as simple as that. It's just crap. Um, what did you watch last night? Oh no, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones? We've been watching the free show in like one week. I've never seen it. I'm not sure. You know how I sit with things like that? No. What are you working on? What are you doing? Writing quotes. Quotes? Anything interesting? Abaddon and Logan. Abaddon? Oh. To what standard? Good. I'm excited for that. Right, who's going to do it, do you reckon? Which painter? I don't know. We'll wait till somebody pays first. Oh, that's fair enough. Alright, we'll, we'll post some pictures of that soon. Um, we've had some requests. Not soon. We've had two requests. We've had a video. Um, a video request for the biggest model um, we've done, which is actually sat there. Um, we're going to get that glued together. and We'll do a quick bit of that. And what's the other video? You guys obviously don't know. He doesn't know. Only I know. Um, the cabinet. Mike, turn the cabinet on. Turn it on. I think um, this is from Cool Mini or Not, which is a great place for learning how to paint, by the way. Um, Mr. Carnath. Uh, this is for you. Uh, the contents of our, of our cabinet. So let's turn you around. There's the contents of our cabinet. Uh, open said cabinet. Uh, I think I shall start at the bottom and work my way up. Uh, no, I'm not going to get close. I'm going to bring the models. Not all of them. I'm going to bring uh, what, something of each painter out, actually. So first, we've got Mr. James... James Littler and he a while back painted these bad boys which are uh, I don't know would you say the mid standard is salamanders that's all that that's good there you go shazam so there you go there's James Littler's salamanders he's got a small army of them going on there and they're uh, rather bodaciously painted there's that alright Moving up, Luke Jordan. Luke is the uh, mastermind behind this bad boy, which uh, I think is one of my personal favourites. But he's also work what are you working on? Lunar Wolves. Sons of Horus. Sons of Horus. What's the difference? I don't know. What is the difference? Sons of Horus. They were called after they became Mormon. They did what? After Horus was named Warmaster. Ah, right, yeah, 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 they changed the colours, didn't they? But check out his battle damage. Yeah, that's cool, that. Incredibly cool. And the base. Check out the base. Which is uh, actually my personal favourite bit. Check that out. Broken City. Whoa, whoa. There you go. We've got one of your sons of ours is 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 here. We do, don't we? There we go. Choose this guy. He's awesome. There we go. One of Luke's uh, sons of Horus. 
quite tastefully done, sir. I am impressed. Wow. Is it? Alright, it's also now my favourite one. We'll get some better pics up on uh, the website, which um, I'll bang a link in the, the, the box thing below. Um, so there you go, so you can come and see what we're all about there. Right, who's next? I tell you what, I'm going to go with uh, Luke again, because yeah, I say personal favourite. I don't think it gets, what is it? Grotesque. A grotesque, there you go. I'm not up on my Dark Eldar, but as far as grotesques go, I think that encapsulates grotesque. So yeah, there you go. Right, next painter. Who is next? Who is next? Uh, well, apparently I'm next. Uh, show you something you've never seen. Yeah. So you guys have never actually seen my uh, Sons of Medusa. Never put any pictures of them out anywhere. Um, I did these. After the Blood, uh, not Blood Angels, Dark Angels came out in like 2008, 2007, around about then. Um, and I really wanted a Space Wolf army, but there's no cool Space Wolf models. All them snidey ones from that really thin NAF second ed rulebook. Um, so I decided to uh, combine certain ideas and have these uh, cool wooden fetishes of skulls nailed to planks which was an idea out of the Dark Angels book um, make packs very much like the Space Wolf packs but have Dark Angel style heraldries um, but I didn't want to do Dark Angels so Sons of Medusa it was I tried to get very like, uh, creative with shoulder pads etc and have every shoulder pad Different but themed roughly the same, so that is those guys and me. It was going to be a gaming army, I only ever actually got five models done, so there you go. I've got 5k of space wolves now, so yay. What's next, George? Where's any of your stuff? There's not mine in there. I don't think that's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me bits. What else have we got? Um, I'll show you some more of my stuff then. <laughs> what a surprise. Well, that's all there is in there. There's more of Luke's stuff, more of my stuff. Yeah, where's Gary's? Isn't that one of Gary's Infinity models in there? Which one? Which one's Gary's? Where? Here we go. So two things. One of my old Mordine things from like 2000 and maybe even 1999, maybe earlier. <laughs> Good fun. Love Mordine. It's fantastic. And. Uh, what is it? An Aleph. This is Aleph from Infinity, in it? Because we're not all about war, man, obviously. We're about all sorts of business. In fact, Flames of War! People like Flames of War, don't they? Is that Flames of War tank? Where are that? Bolt action. Is that bolt action? Do we do Flames of War? Flames of War is like 10 mil, 15 mil. Alright. Check me out, knowing. Right, there you go. In fact, we'll do some historical stuff separately next time. Anyway. That's some of our work. I thought I'd just introduce me and Mike normally, so let's go back to me and Mike. Hey. Oh, um, I was going to show you what's on my desk. Personally, I'm doing these guys. Mike, what are you working on? Emails. No, not right now, you cabbage. There's nothing on my desk right now. There's two what test about models. a tournament army? There's two test models for other people. Alright, test models. Okay. Uh, what is it? A Shaz. A towel battle Just suit. call him Sharon. There you go. So we've got Sharon, a towel battle suit. Uh, Sharon O. And then we've got um, Pete Bloodfist, um, who is a, a fantastic actually by uh, James Littler. Check out this rusty sword. Yeah, there you go. How big is this army going to be? 
the ogres. So that's a proper proper commission. That it's fantastic weathering on that. All about weathering around these parts at the moment. So yeah, there you go. Um, Mike, you're not working on the tournament army. I've got some dwarfs that I'm going to try and paint in a weekend. Chaos dwarfs. No, normal dwarfs. Normal dwarfs. Right. Non-chaos dwarfs. Organized dwarfs. Organised dwarfs yeah. as opposed to chaos dwarfs, so more like deliberate dwarfs, even. Um, in fact, two things about me and Mike, we like polar opposites of each other. Um, I'm bald, he's not. I'm good looking, he's not. Indeed. Um, good looking to... I'm young, he's not. Things, not human. How old are you? I don't I actually don't know how old you are. I don't want to say... <laughs> I'll be 30 in like a month. Really? Yeah. Is there going to be a party? No, I'm not going to be in the country. So. No. Alright, um, I'm 36, so obviously I have a wisdom, etc. on my side. Hence why I'm doing these videos, because you guys obviously want them, um, and I'm enjoying doing them. He didn't want to do them, and he doesn't want to be in it, so I just forced his hand today, so it's tough. So, another thing about me and Mike, um, I like to do lots of high standard painting stuff and to hell with the game and its rules and its subtleties um, I'll play a game surely for the hell of it yeah I'll play to win but not at the cost of having fun or anything like that whereas Mike actually likes to destroy people's worlds um, and pay money for it you know, where you're ranked in the world of gaming thing what is it? Rankings HQ? No, they're dead They're dead? Mm. See, that's what I know about the world of Warhammer. Um, go on. Where's the, what's this ranking business? Uh, bad Dice rankings. Is it Bad Dice now? It Check is. Them Everything's out. Bad Dice. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Taking over. Um, I don't know where. Well done to Bad Dice. You should call yourselves Good Dice instead, maybe, because you did good. Um, yeah, Bad Dice podcast. In fact, I got interviewed by them today. Um, so if you go to baddice.co.uk... Baddicepodcast.co.uk, is that right? Just Bad Dice. I think Google Bad Dice and well, I'm sure someone will pop up. Um, there you go. Um, go on, where are you ranked with those guys? I have no idea. Somewhere high. Somewhere high. Check him out. Modest and or, everything. Or low, depending on Number one being the best. All right, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Right, well, if, if anybody can put a fact to that, um, let us know in the comments below. I'll send Mike a nasty email about how awesome he thinks he is and how you're going to beat him. And then come down here and put your money where your mouth is. I'm up for that. Um, Mike beat me in one turn. In fact, he told me he was going to... Last time we played a game of Army, he told me he was going to win um, just from how poorly I set up my ogres. And I thought, well, okay then. Um, and then he proceeded to just beat me. Didn't play him again. We um, he did tell me why. I've forgotten why, but it doesn't matter because I can paint better than him anyway. So there you go. Which is my job. So I paint and look pretty. Maybe. <laughs> and he games and uh, thinks he looks pretty. So yeah. There you go. Anyway, have fun. We do awesome commissions. I'm going to introduce you to the rest of the guys as the uh, as the days and weeks go by. And then I think I want to do some tutorials and other things. And I'm also trialing Skype lessons, which um, I'm going to choose somebody soon for my Facebook page. Um, so, yeah. Are we at 8,000 likes? Are we at 8,000 likes? No, I don't think we are. Get us at 8,000 likes, you lot. Um, why? Why get us at 8,000 likes? Because um, we get asked all the time to do this, to do that, to do the other. And our reasons for not doing a lot of things is is money, you know, money for equipment, money for this, money for that, the other. And then we get a lot of questions saying, oh, why don't you do a Kickstarter? Um, blunt answer is, I like to deserve the money I get from people. I don't just want to say, oh, I've got a top idea, um, give me all your money, or whatever, anything like that. I want to work for it, I want to deserve it, um, and I want to do that through running a great business in a very sensible way. Um, I want to work hard, um, I want to save the money, I want to invest it in something worth investing in, and 
then I want to give you that quality product and yeah I don't want to do a Kickstarter so if you can get work out a way spread the word of uh, what we do and how well we paint and how reliable we are and how well we deal with uh, everything we do um, yeah really really spread the word you know when it comes to events when it comes to teaching when it comes to paint commissions um, I think we've got a great team you know I set a minimum standard and uh, I encourage it to be hit I was going to use the word enforce but that one do I enforce it guys George is frowning he's smiling I'm scared now of you, that's why. nobody's scared of me nobody's scared of me but I've got a great set of guys who, who really do it a minimum standard which is out of this world I think you know so there anyway yeah help us out spread the word of what we do and um, we will pay that back by getting more product out there more painting guides out there more everything to do with helping you guys get better at the hobby for less effort less cost uh, more fun more results you know like the golden fundamentals course it's all about cutting out the bull and getting better results for it so there you go anyway rock on and our roll say bye mike Bye Mike. Yeah, there we go. Alright, see you later guys.